Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Have some enthusiasm, Hello, mate. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with Mully. You know him, you you hate him, you you love him, I don't know. We're here to watch some Gordon Ramsay again because you seemed to like it last time. Do you like my hoodie? Yes, I do like your hoodie. Do you like Gordon Ramsay? I love Gordon Ramsay. Also, did you know that Mully was actually a chef before he did YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Hospitality sucks, dude. It's literally what we did last time, Mal, but it's just a different episode. Man, I was so hungover last time we did this. I can't remember what happened. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on. There is an audio issue. What? It's your f***ing voice. I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, what's happened? What's happened? I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I'm hitting the road. I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I'm hitting the road. He's kind of hot. Would you smash? If you made me eggs Benedict in the morning. But having endured so many kitchen disasters over the years, there's a f mouse in here. I must try to save each of these restaurants in just 24 hours. That's <gasps> not. I'm scared we're not gonna. Okay, what, what's he gonna dress up as this time? That's what I wanna know. Last time he was, what, a cop? Yeah. This once vibrant town now sits desolate. Oh, well, the town's dead, channel. I mean, Tanner, like your channel. Sherman's restaurant. You ready, Mal? Sherman's. I'm really hoping that saving an important small business like Sherman's can get that energy back around the town. The problem is that Sherman's is run by the Nimrod family. That's right. This restaurant is owned by a pair of Nimrods. What's a Nimrod? Google it. So the first meaning of Nimrod is a skillful hunter. Okay. It's also used as an insult and it's used to sarcastically mean a dim-witted or stupid person. Like, you know when you go to a a bunch of nimrods hanging out. That's what it means. Oh, okay. Gordon Ramsay kind of savage, not gonna lie. He decided to make this into a fine dining restaurant in 1985. We bought the restaurant in 2012. That's where you went wrong. That's the mistake that they made. Nimrods, right. It's funny. That girl's name's Fudgy and she's a dishwasher. Did you see that? Old Fudgy, Fudgy. <laughs> she's 42 and she's a dishwasher. Bro, look at, mess. look at the mess. Look at the mess. Look at the mess. That's a workplace health and safety issue. I've worked at Sherman's restaurant for 32 years. 32 years. Pause. Can I just say, old chefs like that, nine times out of ten, are fucking assholes. I used to work with one who was about his age, old as I fucking hated him. His name was Scott. I used to call him Old Scott. Now look at me, Scott. Making way more money than you. He probably doesn't even watch this video, but like... Yeah. Is there a difference between loin back ribs and baby back ribs? He's asking Google. That shows his age, Tanner. He's asking Google if there's a difference in meat. Hey, Siri, how do you breathe? I found this... Oh, f*** off. Come on, play the video. We're out of money. We have nine. If Sherman's were to close, the bank would repossess our house and repossess our cars and take away all of our material possessions. Time to get changed. Oh, here we go. Costume. Delta, What's he going to be? I decided to disguise myself as the lifeblood of this country. An American farmer. An yes! American farmer. An American farmer. Oh, he, he, he looks good. He suits it. He suits it. Look at the prawns. By the way, Tanner, just pause for a second. The prawns were being prepared on a white board. White boards are used for breads and cheeses. You are supposed to use a blue board for seafood. It's called health and safety. How you about to cut up a lettuce on the same board that you just prepared chicken on? You know what I mean? Let's test drive the filet mignon. It's the best I have to offer. Meat and taters. Meat and taters. Dude, is he going to use a southern accent? Ranch. Ranch. Bean knuckles here. Would you come here? Oh, we quit coming here about three years ago. We're going downhill. Chef Mike. We love microwave food. We love it. Yeah. What is gumbo? Like you. Oysters, bro. Look at that. Greasy, right, it looks like some vomit, man. That literally looks like I've had a big night on the piss and then spewed it all up. You get home from the night out at like 5 a.m. You get a fucking huge feed of McDonald's, but then overeat. And then when you spew up, that's what it looks like, eh? Ew. I'm going to pass on the gumbo. That's what did he get? Flounder. Funky flounder. Catch of the day, hepatitis B. <laughs> How do you think he's going to stand up and be like, it's me, Gordon Ramsay. Is that is that what you think is gonna happen? I don't know, man. 
He didn't, I don't know. Usually he goes off his nut, but. There's barely any customers, is there? I reckon they're all paid actors. I'm gonna get changed, okay? So just. Here he comes, Graham Reveal. Here he comes. Please do, because I'm not real sure how long I can be beating this seriously. <sighs> I'm getting nervous. It's just Hannah. I, Gordon Ramsay. It's just I, Gordon. Oh, look. Oh, here we go. Flounder. Oh, my lord. It was. I love this. I love this. All right, here we go. Hello? Bro. Hey. Imagine you're just like counting your tips like that girl and f Gordon Ramsay walks in. They're all like starstruck, but they're like, oh no. If Gordon Ramsay rocking up at your f***ing restaurant, you know you're about to get pounded by him. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay just walks in. Oh, hey, Gordon. Shut down the kitchen. Turn everything off. Shut it down. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, could you just stop eating for 30 seconds? This is where he stands up and he goes, everybody stop. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? You're eating off food. The funky flounder was disgusting. My oysters were like golf balls. My flounder was as soggy as my girlfriend back home. <laughs> That's what he'd say. I've just sat there for the last hour with my guests. I love this part. I am shocked. I just am experience. shocked. You can't both be in denial. Does this restaurant need help? Yeah. I didn't think it was atrocious. You didn't think it was atrocious? No, sir. Uh, it's because you're old, mate. You've been working in the... In industry for too long. Do I need to take what little guests you've got left in here and show them? Sure. You want me to? Ladies and gentlemen, follow me, please. He's walking the patrons into the kitchen. Oh, this is this is. So under here is where your food. Oh! Goes. Oh, look at all the Covered. fat. When was the last time it was cleaned? I don't have an answer. I don't know. You've been here 32 years. You can't tell me the last time that was cleaned. I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Tana, you have to let go of your little love for old people. He's just such a... He's so cute and old. Without any of you knowing this, I sent in my culinary team to secretly record the restaurant for weeks. And I can't believe what people get up to. All right, how's that, like, not illegal, though? That's how I know. He's like, people do crazy things when they don't realize they're being recorded. I've secretly sent my team in for weeks to film you. And might I say, Jennifer, you can smash bags in the toilet every shift and I'm fucking over it. It's like, I know you two are fucking. I know you two are fucking. Like, what else are <laughs> yeah. they seeing? Look at these girls at the front. They definitely get up to some naughty They're like, oh, the fuck, Gordon's seen us do a few lines off the toilet seat. Oh, sh they're gonna show it. They're gonna show it. They're gonna so show he it. Wants to take these off. He doesn't want to eat them. Please put them in a bag for my dog. People just wasting the cold ranch as if it's free. <gasps> she put the ranch back. Is there a difference between loin back ribs and baby back ribs? Oh my god. Uh, oh. Uh, gross. Oh, gross. Look at that. Gross. Look at that fridge. Raw wow. fish. Burger on the same board! Dude, this one, hands down, is way worse this one's than the gross. other one. I don't even know if you can help people like this, eh? Like, this is the kind of shit that's just like, light a match, throw some gasoline, and call it a day. I need one thing from all of you. Your 100% commitment across these next 24 hours. Call your f***ing husband, call your wife, me and you, the next 24 hours, we're getting down. <laughs> It's time for a change, but I don't know how to change it. Oh, now you're denouncing responsibility. That's spineless. Oh. $28 for a bland gravy. Did you taste that gravy? I did not. You're the first chef I've met in my life that doesn't taste his own food. Next one, one star, too dark on this side. Probably a good thing because the food looks gross when it comes out of the kitchen. Oh, my God. Hold on a minute, breaking news. Alison Nimrod, another response. It's hard to even respond to this ridiculous review, so I won't, except this. You are. You are, you nutbag. <laughs> You are replying to the comment, you nutbag. Yes, Look yes. at Fudgy. After being stuck in a time Doing it part. Years, yeah, Fudgy. It's about to change faster than a duck on a June bug. Whatever that means. So they're going to do all this in one. This is the most exciting thing that's happened at this restaurant in five years. What was the last exciting thing to happen at this restaurant? Like, I wonder what's like under those stalls, man. Yeah, honestly. Like you could imagine there'd be like some sh under them. Like that hasn't been vacuumed, eh? Yeah, they probably don't even clean the place, dude. All the fat from the grill? When was this last cleaned? Oh! I think it was Monday. Monday? Monday? That Possibly was cleaned Saturday, on Monday. Yeah. Bullshit. That's like a couple weeks worth. What's down here? That's the cooler. Please bless thy soul. May I come out in one piece? <laughs> the smell in here. What is this? Oh. Oh! Oh! Pork blood. blood. Oh my God. But it, that would be like so slimy too. This is f smell. This is proper f 
correct? This happens though. This is actually a thing. And not to mention though, is usually when produce gets off like that, it's either because they ordered too much and they haven't sold it, or they've just like ordered it one week, used what they needed and then ordered the new sh but like left the old sh in the fridge. You right now are a walking liability. No, I'm not. Costing this restaurant. True, though. All right. We've seen Gordon walk into a dirty kitchen. We've seen him roast them. And now he's made a transformation. And now this is the best part. They, yeah, but are they going to fire him? I think they're going to fire him. Gordon, can we talk to you a second? Excuse me, excuse me. You okay? Are they going to fire him? You're completely 100% right. And, we're ready and to we're, make that change. We're ready. I'm grateful that you've understood the importance of change. And I welcome that. But don't be scared of it. it you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Good. Let's get a jacket. Oh. Are they going to fire him? 1am getting fired. Uh, what a vibe. Steve, um, Pete and Alison would like a quick word. No, <gasps> no, 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 no. That about to end this man's whole career. Steve, it's time to make a change. 1am. He's about to get fired. We're going to have to let you go. No! <gasps> no, not Steve! No! I love how they're all like talking sh about him at the start and then he gets fired. Now they're crying. Who's going to run the kitchen now? Wait, you fired poor Steve. You don't even have a chef anymore. That was f***ing sad, bro. Did you actually cry? Yeah, I'm crying, dude. Are you serious? I can't see it. Let me have a look. Did you actually cry, Tanner? <laughs> God, you're so ugly. <laughs> now it's time to see the reveal to see if they can actually handle it. I need to show this crew something that will shock them all. Miss Allison, let's go. Peter, let's go. What the, what's he it's showing them? A clean oh kitchen. Ah! Oh. Come on down. Clean Come kitchen. Through, oh, Come on. Wait, is that the reveal? Yeah, I oh, think it still so. Looks like though. Reservation list. Yes, sir. Doesn't it? He can only do so much, Mo. Give Gordon a fucking break, all right, mate? I would love to go on Hell's Kitchen, eh? Like, if I got invited to go to Hell's Kitchen to cook on the show, I would fucking do that. I'd stop uploading on my channel for the duration of the filming. I'd fly to America, go on Hell's Kitchen. Oh, dude, it would be so fun. You would not do that. I, w I actually would. I when I was a chef, I had dreams. Like, when I started my career to go on Hell's Kitchen, just get yelled at by Gordon Ramsay. In just 24 Beautiful. Hours, we have given new life to this beloved... Still Look at the reveal. It's definitely better. He's done a wonderful job with what he was dealing with, okay? Could have been better. I give it like a six out of 10. We'll see if the food, you go, you can't rate until you see the food. So, yeah, true, true, true. We got to do the Google of if this place is still open after this. Definitely. Oh, that was good. Look, the owner is still replying to the comments. The lowest rating recently, two months ago. Oh, look at this, the first one. I found toenails in the steak when I cut into it and there was a rat in my lemonade. <gasps> Bullshit. That's a fucking lie, dude. Yeah, no, there's somebody. Why would there be toenails in a steak, dude? Were they flipping it with their fucking feet? All of them, are, it's just trolls, dude. Yeah, that would that would suck about being on this show. Is like all the reviews would be so fucking cooked. Well, there you have it. Another episode of Gordon Ramsay yelling at people. That one was definitely disgusting. Like that is. Ugh. Can you tell them to subscribe to my channel, please, Mel? No. Please. No. Please. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.